guys, my name is Lucas and welcome back to another video. In this video we will be talking about the Fruity Delay 2 VST. I will go through the basics of it, so let's just jump right into it. Okay guys, so here we are in FL Studio. I have prepared this little piece of music for you for this specific tutorial. <laughs> And the thing that we want to apply delay on is this guitar right here. So the first thing that you want to do is to make another bus channel and call it delay. Then you want to route the guitar or whatever sound you're using to this channel. So the guitar is both routed to the delay but also to the master channel. On the delay channel you will find the Fruity Delay 2. And the first thing that you want to do when you are routing a guitar or a sound to a bus channel, then you want to turn the dry volume all the way down, otherwise you will just hear the guitar twice, which means that it will get very, very loud, and you don't want that. So now we can turn the delay on, and we will hear this. It sounds really muddy, and actually this plugin, it seems very simple, but it can be hard to understand. So the first thing that we want to look at is the input. The input is how loud or where you want your delay to be placed and panned. So for instance, if I panned my input to the left, my delay is in the left. And also vice versa. If I choose to use the invert, if my panning is in the right, then my feedback will come to the left and also vice versa. If I choose to use the ping pong and my panning is in the left, the signal will go from the right to the left to the right to the left. And also vice versa. The volume determines how loud the delay will be. I think that I will go with ping pong for this tutorial. So over here at the feedback we have already talked about the normal, invert and ping pong. So we have the volume. The volume doesn't determine the actual volume of the delay, but it determines how fast the feedback will disappear. So listen carefully. Right now we have a lot of feedback. And here we have no feedback. Here we have a little, and I think we will stick with this. Then we have the cutoff. The cutoff is basically where do you want to high cut your sound, and you can really clearly hear the difference. So it gets muddy, but you know, not in the wrong way, but maybe if you have a mix and you don't want the delay to be the biggest part of the song, but you still want it in your track, then you can use the cutoff to kind of get rid of the high frequencies. Then we have the time button. The time button determines when the first delay comes after the signal. And then you have the first delay to the second and the second delay to the third delay and so on. I think I will go with a time for, let's say, two. Then we also have the offset button. And I don't use this that often, but I will show you what it does. So for the offset button, you have the opportunity to make the delay come in both ears at the same time. So if we reset the panning and set the feedback to normal, we can hear that now we have this panning. But if you use the offset, you can kind of make it stereo. But I don't use this as often. So I will just return to where we were before. And 
And the reason why that we wanted to make a bus channel was now we can control the amount of delay by just using the slider. <laughs> We can also EQ our delay without affecting the original sound. For instance, if I don't want any low frequencies, I can just cut them away. So there you have it guys. This is how you use Fruity Delay 2. It is really not that hard. You just need to work with it, I think, when you have made 10 songs and you have used the plugin in every single song, you will kind of get the feeling on how it works. So I'll say thanks for watching and subscribe if you liked it and consider commenting or something. Everyone says this, so why not? I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.